Hi all, today we are going to learn the MySQL installation process from .zip file. This method is helpful when you don't have any administrative privileges and still need MySQL instances for development or testing. Also this process helps to create multiple instances of MySQL with the different port numbers. So let's start the session. First we will download .zip version of a MySQL from MySQL official website. Type MySQL download .zip. This is the first link. Click here. You have to follow the second link here. Click on download. Click on this URL and it will start your download. We have mysql.zip file. So let's extract this contents into mysql directory. See here, we have all our configuration file in mysql directory. We'll need data directory also. Let's create one more di directory here. We'll name this as a MySQL data. Okay. So we have to fire some commands to configure the MySQL. So this is my notepad file which contain all commands. The first command is to initialize your MySQL server. Second command, this is to run your MySQL server. So for these two commands, we need three paths. Okay, first path is MySQL D. I have it here. As per your extract, you can change your path here. Then we need a data directory path. We have it here. And then we need a MySQL.exe file path. Let's copy this one and paste. These paths will change as per your zip file extraction. Let's fire first command. Open command line. It is configuring your SQL server. Let's wait for some time. It will generate your temporary password as well. Initialization of MySQL server is done. Now let's run the server. Second command is to run the server. Our server is running. Okay. Now let's open new command line. Here we have to fire our third command. Here we have to input our temporary password. It which is generated into your first command line. Here it is. You will able to see this password, right? I have copied this password and let's paste it here. Now if you will able to see MySQL is generated. So let's fire first query show databases. Oh, I forget yes sign here. Ha. Now it is showing your you must reset your password using alter user command. Okay, because it's the first time we are initializing this uh, this one. That's why it is requesting to change your temporary password. Now let's change the password. So we'll need this query to change our password. Let me copy and paste it here. Our password has been changed. Okay. So now let me exit. And try again with the new password. New password is what? Test at the rate. Okay. Now it's working. Now let's fire one query. Show databases. It is showing my default databases now. Okay. Let's fire another query. Create database. DB underscore test. And now fire another query, show databases, yes, we are able to see our DB test. So it means we are able to execute our queries and our configuration is done. So let me exit it from here, exit it this one also, okay. So basically you need to fire these many queries. 
first command is to initialize your server second command is to start your server this second command you have to use it recurringly okay every time whenever you wanted to start the server you have to execute this query and whenever you wanted to stop the server you can simply press control c here so thank you everyone if you like the video please share and subscribe